Welcome my political friends of the interwebs. What you are looking at is the face of modern day liberalism. Basically if Liberace and Rachel Maddow had some kind of a bastard test tube love child, this would be it. It's just it's so disgusting. It's going to be hard for me to even get through this video. But before I even attempt to, I just want to thank everybody who, who uh, friended me on Facebook and everybody that followed me on Twitter. I'm going to have some really cool stuff coming up uh, regarding those two things. Thank you very much. If you don't know, if, if you're listening to this video and you do not know, I did start a Facebook for Colonel Richard Hunter and a Twitter. There will be links below. Please friend me. Please follow me. You'll be worth it. Trust me, I will make it worth it. Okay, let's get back to this idiot. Um... I, I, some of you probably already know the story with Chris Hayes. Uh, Chris Hayes is basically a he's a pundit on MSNBC. I, 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 he gets paid by NBC's news department to have a show called Up with Chris Hayes. It is extreme progressive left wing nonsense. That's why most of you probably wouldn't have, will have never even heard of this guy. But what this idiot decided to do. Uh, would speak the truth, because this is how these liberals think. Um, he, on his show, I think the day before uh, Memorial Day, or the day before, I first heard about this uh, literally the day before Memorial Day, and it was late, and I did not want, I was outraged, but I did not want to make a video about this, because I did not want any video that I had being broadcast uh, through through the interwebs, uh, where I actually used this man's name on, on, on a hollow day like Memorial Day. Because to me, Memorial Day is all about our fallen soldiers. Yeah, I cook hot dogs like the rest of, of America does, but ultimately, it's about the fallen soldiers. And this, this is what this idiot did. It literally took me a few days to get over it, because I'm going to tell you right now, I, I, was, I was boiling about this clown. Um, what he decided to do on his show, up with, uh, with um, Chris Hayes, was to say, and, and matter-of-factly say, that he had a very difficult time referring to United States fallen soldiers as heroes. That's right. He had a very, very difficult time describing them in any way, shape, or form as heroes. And he qualified it by saying some stupid nonsense about, yeah, there probably are some genuine heroes, you know, uh, uh, hail of gunfire, hail of bullets, saving another soldier's life, blah, 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 blah. But all in all, he didn't like to use the word heroes. Because to him, and then he used some pseudo-intellectual, you know, $5 words, <laughs> you know, that basically said to him, if you refer to United States fallen soldiers as heroes, it basically makes future wars okay. You know, it, it justifies future wars in his mind. In his pathetic, left-wing, lunatic mind. Okay, now here's the thing. Today, he, he issues a uh, an apology. Okay, well, he apologizes. And in, 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 in the article that I read about it went on to hear him uh, basically go through a bullshit apology. And there were some people that reported that his friends, whoever, they didn't name who these friends were, uh, basically said to him, you need to apologize. No. It wasn't anything that dawned on him personally. No, it was other people around him that said, basically, dude, you're screwing up. It's okay that you feel that way because we all feel that way. But, uh, you know, you, this could be a firestorm. You know, you're talking about Memorial Day. You're talking about how American fallen soldiers aren't heroes. Are you crazy? You need to apologize. So he comes out with a half-assed apology. Big surprise. And, you know, and here's the thing. Okay, I, for one, I do not accept his apology. On behalf of every fallen soldier uh, in the United States, the history of the United States, all the way from Concord Bridge to Fallujah, I do not accept his apology on their behalf. I don't. First of all, it was half-assed, it wasn't sincere, and it was coerced. I mean, you know, Chris Hayes, if you've got any nads, it doesn't look like you do. But if you've got any nads... Okay, I know you're, you're, you're pre-op, but if you've got any ads, own it. Own it, you big freaking pussy. Own it. You won't because you know that the majority of the American people honor our fallen soldiers, honor our servicemen and women. And people like you, left-wing nut jobs like you, do nothing to honor them. In fact, you're the kind of piece of shit that would yell things like baby killer at our returning soldiers. 
and you would do it with the same stupid grin you've got on your face right now and you know it. You piece of left wing garbage. It's just disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And I can't even begin to let everybody here that's watching this video know how thoroughly disgusted I am with Chris Hayes. He's a piece of garbage. And here's the other thing. Yeah, he gave a half-assed apology. Where's, uh, where's NBC News' apology? Where's MSNBC's apology? Now, you can call it NB MSNBC if you want, but ultimately it's, it's uh, NBC. Where's, where's their apology? Because they're the people who make it possible for idiots like Chris Hayes to have a show to begin with. So to me, they're culpable. They should be... They should be made to apologize as well, or is that the way they feel? Because we all know. Here's the, the sick thing. We all know this is how they feel. We all know that NBC despises America, despises our men and women that wear the uniform. We all know that. This is no big secret. But what's disturbing to me is that an American corporation, though I will tell you that I can guarantee you that they do not consider themselves an American corporation. But an American news corporation, well, and then again, they don't consider themselves to be an American news uh, corporation. But ultimately, it disturbs me that the shareholders are not screaming for people's heads. And I don't mean just this moron Chris Hayes. He's just a schmuck. He's a nothing, low-life, left-wing schmuck. He's a mouthpiece that they put on their air to do nothing more, more than to further their agenda. But he's not the ca shot caller. No. He don't sh no. He's, no. He's calling zero shots. He's just a schmuck that, you know what, truthfully, a couple of years from now won't even have his own show. Because that's the way it works over at MSNBC. They, they, you know, I mean, you know, uh, anybody remember Keith Oberman? You know, I mean, none of them get any kind of ratings. They just churn those people. You know, it, it's the policymakers over there. I mean, where are the shareholders screaming? Seriously. Is, the, is, is NBC News became so entrenched in the left-wing ideology that they can't even be considered real news anymore? Is that is that what's happened? And uh, does N NBC no longer need to actually make money? You know, here's the other thing. If you're a fan of NBC News, or if you're a fan of MSNBC, you need help. You do. You're, I'll go ahead and say it. You're, not, you're on American. How do you like that? How do you like those apples? You're on American. Of course, now I'll probably get tagged for hate speech because, you know, uh, liberals are a protected class in this country, especially by Google. <laughs> you know? But, you know, I mean, can we, can we at least have the decency people in this country to not turn on this nonsense? To not give Chris Hayes' Up With Chris Hayes show any viewership? Well, you know what, and that's... And that's kind of asinine for me to even say because he doesn't get any viewership. A handful of left-wing nuts is really it. And every once in a while, a conservative will go on there just to let their jaw drop and go, my God, this is why, I've, this is why I'm a conservative. Because these left-wing nuts hate America. They hate our military. They hate our police. I don't know, to be honest with you, who they don't hate. Well, while they don't hate the memory of Chairman Mao, they don't hate the memory of Joseph Stalin. They love Fidel Castro. I can't even imagine what the eulogies are going to be like when Fidel dies. Because you know that there's going to be some eulogies when Fidel dies. They'll be shedding a lot of tears over the passing uh, 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 of Fidel, or you know, and I can only imagine some of some of the uh, the private ceremonies they held when uh, when that nut Jim uh, uh, Kim L whatever the hell his name was <laughs> over there North Korea. I mean, you know, this group of communists and their hatred for the flag and their hatred for America. You know why? I'm just sick of tolerating, tolerating it. That's why I'm speaking up. And I don't care if it does any good whatsoever. I've just got to say, I am not going to allow 
this idiot, Chris Hayes, or MSNBC or NBC News to, to speak poorly of our fallen soldiers. I'm going to be at least on record as somebody that stood up and spoke out. And I encourage everybody that's watching this video right now, if you have the ability to make videos, make a video and tell me how you feel about Chris Hayes. Because ultimately, I'm disgusted. And you know what? Make your video and attach it to this one. Okay, that's all I got for everybody. Google's apparently uh, shutting me down. <laughs> I got to go. Uh, yeah, and, and if you can't make videos, you can't attach to this, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think of MSNBC. And if you know what? If, you, if you're a supporter of MSNBC, I'd like to know why. And if you're a supporter of somebody who says that he can't call our fallen soldiers heroes, that it's disturbing to him, I'd like to know. I'd like you to defend him. I'll, I'll, I'll promise you, as long as you do it respectfully, I won't even delete it. Because, you know, I love nothing more than the deleting the, the, the lunatic ramblings from the left. Anyway, that's all I got for everybody. Hopefully the next time I uh, talk to you, it'll be under better circumstances. But Chris Hayes, burn in hell.